Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure that you're subscribed as I upload videos every single week. So this is going to be my skincare routine. I'm going to be talking about how I'm currently helping my skin. And as you can see, there's still so much imperfections, but in comparison to what it was, this is definitely great progress for me. So I'm just gonna talk through some of the products that I have been using that has been helping to clear my skin. But bear in mind, um, one size does not fit all what I have been using might not work for you and what you might be using might not work for me and as you know I'm always trying to improve my skincare routine so if things do change I will definitely give you guys an update as I am now because a lot has changed um, and also if you want to know like my skincare mistakes the stuff that I did very badly in the past that I, you just want to learn from so you don't have to make the same mistakes and be trying to recover from it as I am now then go back on my channel or I will link it in the description when it comes out or if it's already been out so that you can go back and watch that so I'm going to start with my cleansing process. So let's just pretend that I have makeup on my face, what I would do. So what I would do is I would use my simple um, hydrating cleansing oil. You can see it's very makeup-y because I always use it when I've got makeup on. And all you want to do is you want to make sure that your hands are clean before you start this and your hands are clean and dry. So I would say dry it with a paper towel like this so that you're very sure that you're not passing bacteria from your hands or from a towel to your face. I would say just invest in some disposable paper towels so that that way you're always sure that you're not passing bacteria on. So I start with a cleansing oil and now I do the two, the double cleansing method. So all that is is that you start with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and then you go in with a regular cleanser. So once you've rubbed it, you don't put water, you then add this on top to break it down even further and then you wash your face off and you will see all of that makeup comes off immediately. So one thing I have given up in recent times is makeup wipes because makeup wipes, they're far too drying and they strip away the natural skin barriers and the natural oil barriers of our skin. So this is the cleanser that I'm currently using. This is the Colirex and this is the low pH good morning gel cleanser. And I have been using this um, for maybe a month, a month, like, yeah, like almost a month now. And it has been very good to me. Um, mm, yeah, it's not like a cleanser that's going to fix your face. It's more like maintaining what you already have, like maintaining your natural skin barriers. This isn't like a treatment cleanser. It doesn't have like, like all the acne products like I don't even know like all the acid products and stuff and whatever it's just like a gentle cleanser very good for daily use so this is the first time i'm using this um would i keep this cleanser i'm not too sure yet i might try and see if i can find a better cleanser more like a treatment cleanser so i know that they have other cleansers so after i finish this one i will definitely try the other cleansers and then see which one that i prefer so once I've washed my face, never ever dry your face with a regular towel because even if it's a clean one, just avoid it because that is just an opportunity for bacteria to come back up to your face. Just use a paper towels. These are so cheap. I get these like two pounds for two packs. I'm sure elsewhere they'll have it so much cheaper, maybe a pound for two packs and that will literally last you for like a good couple of weeks, um, especially if you're the only person using it. So yeah. Um, also, whilst I cleanse my face, I don't use the physical face brush that everybody has. I use this like gel, this silicone like gel cleanser and with this it vibrates and it sounds like this. And all this does is rather than physically um, exfoliating your skin, which is, I think is too harsh, this does is like it used the vibrations to break down everything and to clear your pores. So I got this on Amazon. And yeah, it was quite cheap. I think it was like around 20 pounds. I would say rather than the brush, invest in these because these are very, very easy to clean. Whereas the brush, you will get stuff stuck in there. And if you're introducing old bacteria to your face after it's clean, it's like you're sort of not going to make much progress. So after that, what I do next is I use the Cosirex Original Clear Pads and this has been beautiful because once I've like double cleanse and I would think, yep, my face must be clean. I wipe it, the paper is clean. Am I going with this? I still have dirt on these pads and all these pads are is, it looks like this. 
sorry there's like some of my hair there it looks like this and they're already like pre-soaked so um i'm not too sure how many is in this but i have literally had this for like two months and i'm still going so i don't use this every single day i use this on like nights where i have worn makeup and i just really need to make sure that i have gotten everything off so i don't wear makeup every day but when i do wear like a full face of makeup i make sure i always go in with this at night time not the day yeah this is something i'm gonna buy again and again and again but i might try some of their different toners and see what which one that i prefer so after i do that what you want to do is once you've now toned you don't always have to tone um i would say toning is quite drying which is why i don't do it every night i only do it on nights where i have worn a lot of makeup so what you want to do is you want to go in with a treatment so if you have like problems that you want to fix like you want to lighten your spots or you want to clear your acne whatever this is when you do your treatment so this is a pu duo i got this from like an online pharmacy and all it is is it's benzoyl peroxide and it looks like this and i just use one pump and it goes on my cheeks on my nose here and here i don't put it on my eyes and i don't put it here because i don't get acne there i only put it on my target areas and i just give it like i just like fan my face like this for a minute just to let it sit in first before i carry on so this is what i've been using this has been helping to keep my acne at bay bear in mind i clearly still have acne but this is more um dark spots and hyperpigmentation i don't get as much active acne anymore which is absolutely incredible so the next thing i use is the snail 96 essence and a lot of people talk about this and yeah so this is what i've been using it's very similar to like hyaluronic acid i hope i'm saying that right and the main purpose of this is to hydrate your face like this is something i would definitely buy again and again and again i think this will probably last me like from like six months at least maybe a year because yeah definitely like six months at least because i have been using several pumps but you only need like one or two sometimes i use three because i am just trying to restore my face as i said and i'm trying to pay for the consequences so in the morning um so by the way with this i feel like i'm talking more about my nighttime routine so let me talk about my night routine as that is the more complex routine and then the day routine is literally very simple so then i'll go in with this and this is like a very um slimy consistency um and it has a very good like spread when you put it on so this is really really good this has been working really well for me and then um we have the moisturizer and the cream so this is the all-in-one cream from cosirex again and this is their oil-free ultra moist moist bleh, moisturizing lotion so in the morning i use this one because this one is lighter and in the night i use the cream so that's the only difference so far and also the benzoyl peroxide is only nighttime and it's not every night it's like every other night kind of sometimes i use it every day but i just listen to what my skin wants if my skin is feeling very sensitive and stingy-ish i skip it for a night and then i carry on it just depends you have to listen to your skin so this the moisturizing lotion is for the morning the cream is for the night so i'm not too like pleased about the packaging of the cream it comes like this and there's a little thing and this is how it looks i think this is very messy and i think it just invites bacteria so this is the consistency of the cream like you can see it's very slimy it spreads a lot and it's just so nice like it just hydrates immediately so that's that and then the moisturizing lotion looks like this look at me just wasting my stuff this is very light and that's the cream this is um this is the lotion this is the cream and the difference is the cream is thicker um and the lotion is a bit lighter so this is what i use in the day and this helps to calm your skin so yeah and also so i have the caffeine solution from the ordinary so this is what i use for my eye treatment for my dark eye bags and my um puffy eyes um i've seen a lot about this on youtube and i just literally use this for my dark eyes so yeah i don't use this all the time i use this um you can use this in the morning but you can use this morning and night it depends on you and what you're going for 
but I would say it's more effective at night because then in the morning it will help your eyes be restored so yeah so in terms of like um masks and stuff I don't do scrubs the only um exfoliant scrubs that I have is the AHA 30 peeling solution from the ordinary and it's the red one that everybody has and I do this maybe once a week or once every two weeks I don't like to overdo stuff like this because as I said every time you do a treatment it does break down your natural barriers which can then cause more damage than good and last but not least is the masks that I do this is CMOS and as you know CMOS if you don't know what it is it's just very good for your skin it's good for your hair you can put it in your smoothie like this morning I had a tea and it had CMOS in there um CMOS actually has 92 out of like the 100 minerals that our body is made of and that our body needs as you can see which is why it's very very good and it just re it just revitalizes the skin and the hair the body it's just something that I think more people need to know about and the one I have is from Mineralize and I will link their website, I will link their Instagram page for you guys so if you want to buy it you can so you can actually get CMOS in the natural form and blend it yourself or if you're lazy like me you can just buy a big jar like this and it's all done for you so the difference is like when I did the CMOS myself and I blended it myself it had a lot of like bits but this one is very smooth like butter that like you just put a little bit on your face leave it on there for like 10 minutes until it dries wash it off and honestly your skin is going to be glowing but currently i'm going to do um i i use cmos for one week video and just be showing you guys my progress every day that is going to come soon but just so that you know about this company they're very very good to me yeah this is what i have been using so far so yeah make sure that you check them out so that is my whole skincare routine for right now i have not missed out anything that i am using this is all the things that i'm using so in the morning i use my morning cleanser um i don't use the pads and all i do is i put the essence on i put the moisturizing lotion on and i finish off with my sunscreen i think i forgot to mention my sunscreen don't forget sunscreen um this is what i use every single day this is the la roche pose this is the spf 50 and this one is the one for the acne so it's the anti-imperfections and this is what it looks like so my morning skincare routine is these three cleanser essence lotion and sunscreen and that's it period like and then my nighttime skincare routine has the pads it has the benzoyl peroxide it has the cream and all that jazz and it has the eye lotion so with like the sea moss i would say you can do this every other day it's very very natural it's very very light so it's not gonna cause any like anything too harsh if anything it's sort of replenishing the skin rather than taking away from it like yeah it's more it's replenishing the skin more than anything so that is my current skincare update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have anything that you are using or anything I mentioned that is also working for you or not working for you, make sure that you let everybody know in the comment section and then we can talk about it or, and just help each other out. If you have anything you want to suggest to me to try, please also um, leave a comment down in the comment section and make sure you give this video a like, make sure you leave your comments, make sure that you are subscribed and you have the notification bell on so you are notified when I post a video and I will see you lovely lovely people on the next video and have a great day bye bye